Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a woman, who is betrayed by her loved ones and becomes a monster. She becomes strong, but in the end, she is still betrayed by her own sister. How is she going to deal with that? The narrator asks what does the mirror show you? Ravenna plays chess with the king, while she makes flirtatious remarks toward him. The king makes a move with the king piece to take her pawn, but Ravenna makes a move with her queen, and kills the king. As the king loses the game, he starts choking, and his chess piece also bleeds. The king dies, and Ravenna gets up and walks up to a golden mirror. She takes over the throne with her sister Freya. At the funeral, Freya is exchanging glances with the Duke of Blackwood, Andrew, while Ravenna sees them. The sisters are playing chess while discussing this romance, the Duke has promised to another, but Freya says he doesn't love his fiancée, only her. Ravenna then mentions that all of the women of their line are gifted, and Freya has not found hers yet. Freya also tells Ravenna that she is pregnant, her sister is surprised but happy for her, and finds out that she will have a daughter. After that, Ravenna tells her sister that the Duke's engagement cannot be broken, even if he is not in love with his fiancée. Freya is annoyed at her sister, and leaves after telling her that she does not know everything. Months later, Freya has her daughter, she is a few weeks old when she receives a letter from the Duke. He wants to elope and run away with her and their child. As she goes to meet him, she notices in her room that flames are everywhere, she runs to her child but it is too late, the room is charred, and it seems that her lover, the Duke has killed their daughter, and when he is caught, he tells Freya that he had no choice. In grief-fueled rage, her broken heart freezes over and she kills him with her sudden emergence of powers, the elemental control of ice. She freezes Andrew, and he shatters, she's found her gift. She now leaves, and strikes out on her own to the north. Freya has gone mad with grief, she raises an army that takes children from other people, in order to replace her lost child. Freya becomes the most feared queen of the north, which is now a frozen land. She conquers many surrounding lands with her huntsmen. We see how the huntsmen kill all of the adults, and take only the children, who are now to be trained to be huntsmen. Since she cannot raise her own kid, she raises armies. She sees a young boy crying, and she tells him, love is a lie. It is the law, and she demands loyalty. We then see the children being rigorously trained with a blade and arrow, Freya watches the training, using a frozen owl as her spy. During one of her men's raids, a boy named Eric and a girl named Sarah are taken. She notices the two of them training, and says that they are the best. The boy fights with an axe like no other, and the girl declares that she never misses a shot with her bow and arrow. Another boy named Toll watches over, as the new kids are brought to her place. Eric sees a little girl hiding under a sack, he encourages the child to face his fears. One day, Sarah Tull and Eric come back to the queen after a hard battle. Freya is happy, and appreciates them for being victorious. Later, we see Eric in the castle, as Sarah grabs him as they are in love, and later takes him to the hot springs. Sarah then takes off her necklace and places it on Eric, as it is the most prized treasure from her mother, now they are married. They then make plans to run away, and agree to meet in the courtyard. When they arrive, all of the huntsmen are waiting there, and the queen also, as she used her owl to spy on them. Freya is disgusted at the betrayal, but Eric tells her that they have not betrayed anyone, they have fought her wars and served her for a long time, so they deserve to be free. Freya then tells them to go to each other if they can, by fighting off many other huntsmen. It appears they are about to win and reach each other, when Freya puts up an ice wall between them. Then we see Tull kill Sarah by stabbing her from behind, while Eric watches the woman he loves dying, but he is not able to do anything, he punches the wall, but barely leaves a crack on it. After that, he is also knocked by the other warriors, and thrown into the river. Years have passed, Eric is an ally to Snow White, and together they defeat Ravenna. Snow White's husband, William comes to see Eric, and tells him that the golden mirror has disappeared, however, before it disappeared, it had a great effect on Snow White. Snow White sent her men to take the mirror to the sanctuary, but those knights never got back. William tells Eric, that Snow White wants him to find that mirror. As they talk, Eric throws his axe in the air, hitting an iced owl that has been watching them. He tells William to move his forces to the northern borders, adding that Freya now knows that the mirror is missing. He then goes to find the missing mirror with Nyan and Grit. As they ride on, they find the bodies of Snow White's knights in the woods. Eric says that they fought and killed each other, he then finds an arrow made of gold, and says that this arrow did not belong to them. At night, they go to a bar, and the dwarfs end up revealing that Eric is a huntsman. A fight ensues, and it looks like Eric is about to lose. The hooded figure fights off all of the huntsmen, 
and is revealed to be Sarah. Eric is shocked to see her, and she slugs him. She has the two dwarfs and Eric tied up. It turns out that Eric was shown a false image created by the queen, and Sarah saw Eric turn around and run, and not even fight for her. Sarah was put in the dungeon for seven years, so she is bitter of course, and it looks like she's gonna kill him. Eric says, if he is going to die at her hand, he is happy that at least he gets to see her face, she just kicks him. The next morning, he tells her about the missing mirror, and Sarah also decides to stop Freya. She says that she is going to help him get the mirror back to the sanctuary, but after that, they are going to part ways forever. As they walk on, they are captured by two female dwarfs in a net trap. The first female is called Mrs. Brahman, and the second one Dorina. Eric gives the arrow made of gold and diamonds to her, and she relents, she then tells everyone that the arrow comes from the goblins, who are master thieves and very greedy, and that is where they are headed to next. Nyan was rude to Dorina, so he apologizes to her for being rude. When they get to the goblins territory, they can see that the mirror has already made them kill each other as well, and they can tell that their blood is made of tar. They find the mirror, and Eric tells the dwarfs to cover it up, and not look into it. Then a goblin comes after them, and the two huntsmen fight and kill him. Sarah softens somewhat when she sees that Eric still has the necklace. He informs her that he has never taken it off. As they go to leave, a horde of goblins attack them. Eric tells Sarah to go, as he'll fight them off. He cuts a rope bridge that crosses some caustic water, and fights on. Sarah decides to shoot them with a flaming arrow since their blood is made of tar, and they all explode. Somehow, Eric has made it across the water. He smiles as he sees Sarah mourning for him. The night falls, and they set up camp, deciding they are going to continue their journey in the morning. Later that night, when Sarah and Eric are sitting together, Eric asks her what he needs to do to earn her trust back, but she tells him that she has decided she will never love him again, as it always causes trouble. She tells him that the woman he knew is dead, adding that she has done terrible things, Eric says the same, but adds that they are still worthy of each other. Sarah is unable to control any longer, and leans in and kisses him. They end up making love. In the morning, an ill wind seems to be coming, and the mirror is slightly uncovered, and whispers to Eric. He pulls his blade as Sarah has awoken, and he asks her, have you been true? Frost suddenly appears everywhere, and the queen and her huntsmen arrive. It is revealed that Sarah has been working for Freya all along. Doreen and Nyan make a stand, and tell Freya she cannot have the mirror, and she freezes them, then her men take the mirror and the two frozen dwarfs. Freya then orders Sarah to kill Eric, and she takes her arrow and shoots him. As the queen makes her exit, Griff and Mrs. Brahman go to Eric, as he obviously is dead. Then he bolts upright and says how much that hurt. He realizes that Sarah shot him in the pendant of the necklace, and he knows she never misses. Eric is again convinced that she still loves him. Freya and her army get back to their kingdom with frozen Neon and Dorina. Freya says the words, mirror mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. This is when the mirror oozes golden liquid, and it forms into Ravenna. Freya is shocked to see that her sister is still alive. Ravenna tells her that after she was defeated, she left her body and went into the mirror. Ravenna then tells her that she is going to use Freya's army to kill Snow White, and reclaim her kingdom. Eric sends the two dwarfs in, and they are caught, however, they handle the one guard easily. Eric scales the mountain, and slides down the roofs nearly falling, however, his axe saves him. He then tells himself this was a stupid plan. He is intent on killing Freya, who is now telling her children about the dangerous mission of taking on Snow White, but she has doubts about Ravenna. Eric in the meantime gets there, and takes a shot at Freya. As he pulls the trigger of his crossbow, Ravenna catches the arrow. Sarah then attacks Freya, but she is also blocked. She now declares that both Sarah and Eric are going to be executed. They both grasp each other's hands, and Tall, who is to execute them, frees them instead. Ravenna is now angry, she attacks Freya's huntsman children, but Freya has had enough, she blocks Ravenna with an ice wall. Freya forces Ravenna to reveal, the mirror told her that Freya's daughter will be more beautiful than hers, so she had her killed. Outraged, Freya turns on her sister, but is impaled by her. With her remaining strength, she freezes the mirror, and Eric shatters it, destroying Ravenna. As Freya dies, she smiles, both at Sarah and Eric, and at a vision of her younger self holding her baby. With Freya's death, those who had been imprisoned by her magic are set free. Eric, Sarah and the Huntsman look forward to a new future, with Eric and Sarah happy to have a free life together for the first time. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.